welcome back, everyone. Today we are inside the reptile house, uh, and we're talking about one of the most fascinating snakes out there, the king cobra. And today I'm joined by John, and apparently you have a couple of new additions uh, to the king cobra family here at the zoo. Yes, actually we have a dozen that just hatched out um, on August 5th from eggs that were laid in early June. Um, they are soon to be going to Dallas Zoo and hopefully to the Kentucky Reptile Zoo as well. Uh, and where exactly are these particular species from? Uh, these are from South and Southeast Asia uh, and China as well. They're kind of spotty in their range. Um, in the wild, they're found in somewhat tropical forests, uh, a lot of times around small streams and small rivers. And these are a highly venomous snake? Yes, these are very dangerous. These are probably one of our most dangerous animals that we have here in our collection. Um, their venom isn't necessarily the most toxic, but they're such a large snake that they deliver a very large amount of venom whenever they do bite. Uh, the breeding that uh, happened here, that was a planned thing? Um, it, as long as they're set up correctly, uh, their exhibit here is well suited for them, so they just kind of do it naturally. It's usually in our early part of the year here, so January to March around there is when they breed. How many eggs were actually laid? Uh, there were 30 eggs laid. Um, we split them up into two batches just in case something were to happen, and which was the case with one batch, they went bad, but the other batch maintained. And these little guys will be shipped off in the next day or so to the Dallas Zoo and the Kentucky Reptile Zoo, but you can see their parents on display every day right here at the Toledo Zoo. Reporting for this week's Things to Zoo, I'm Doug Mose for Fox Toledo.